Several years ago, radio frequency identification tags became mandatory for Canadian cattle in order to identify and trace them right from birth all the way to slaughter. But since then, many producers have stated that their cattle lose these tags far too easily, especially in winter. We visited a prominent prairie research facility to find out more about this problem and possible solutions. Here at the Prairie Agricultural Machinery Institute in Humboldt, Saskatchewan, project leader Roy Mackey and project manager Dr. Joy Agnew never have much trouble finding things to talk about. Right now, they're going over one of their latest research projects, finding ways to improve RFID tag retention in cattle. And producers were frustrated basically with the tags falling out and them having to reapply them, which costs money and, and time and basically just frustration. There are a number of different RFID tags approved for use in Canada and the applicator produced by each manufacturer has to be used with their tag for the best results. Mackey says the PAMI research revealed the importance of following the manufacturer's instructions when applying the tags. Where and how to apply the tags. So you see each different uh, manufacturer has a diagram uh, illustrating where the tag is, is to be applied and uh, it's very important that that is followed because uh, the ear placement uh, uh, determines the life of a tag or its ability to, uh, to be retained on the animal. After acquiring and examining a number of cattle ears from the local abattoir, they decided to use an ultra soft polyurethane to simulate a bovine's ear. And it has a durometer test of uh, 0040, which means it's, it's as you see, it's, it's very soft and pliable. But it has the same characteristics that a, a real ear has as far as the piercing um, uh, force. In this test, they looked at application forces needed to attach the tags. They also tested the strength of the tag after application by measuring the force required to break the tag or remove it from the ear. They broke the tags three different ways, including with tensile force, such as you see here. Typically, you'll see that it's, uh, the break is, is uh, very flat and uh, uh, at 90 degrees to the axis of the stem. They did a shear test on the tags, where the force is applied at a 90 degree angle to the tag's axis and measured at the same time. Mackey uses ordinary baler twine since that could very well end up pulling on the tag when it's in a cow's ear. We're at 91, 94, 98, we're over 100. And failure. The third method of breakage was the impact test. Mackey told us the air cylinder closely simulates the speed and motion of cattle as they catch an ear on a stationary obstacle. So now we're going to uh, apply the impact force. And as you can see, the tag broke. And it broke under uh, a force of 86 pounds. Since the majority of the producer complaints regarding tag retention came during the winter months, they tested the tags both at room temperature and at 30 below zero, and also took them back and forth between the cold and room temperature to simulate actual conditions. And we found that the average force required to insert the tags in the cold was close to 120 pounds. And so when a larger force is required to insert the tags, it's more likely that they're not going to be inserted correctly and then fall out at much lower forces than what we saw here. Since it's difficult to avoid tagging your cattle in winter, Agnew suggests warming up the tags and applicators to room temperature just before tagging. PAMI also recommends tag manufacturers need to consider an alternate design where tags don't have to be applied exactly in one specific spot in the ear to get the best results and they have to come up with another tag design so that you know, there's some variability allowed in the, in the application and still getting good retention. Of the 75 or so cattle years PAMI obtained to help with their research, only about 30% have been tagged 
in the correct spot in the ear. Even a bit more flexibility from manufacturers could greatly improve the retention of RFID tags on prairie cattle.